This is Vanessa Villalobos with the News at 90. The University of Florida honors the 49 lives lost on the second anniversary of the Pulse nightclub shooting in Orlando. UF's Multicultural and Diversity Affairs pay tribute to the lives taken during the Pulse nightclub shooting. The victims' photos were shown on the walls of the Rights Union along with their age and hometowns. MCDA Assistant Director Diana Moreno said the display is not only about the victims but about everybody fighting for acceptance. After the historic summit with North Korea, President Trump is working on the next steps. After landing from Singapore, the president tweeted there is no longer a threat from North Korea. Trump agreed to stop joint military exercises with South Korea, while Kim and North Korea will send American soldier remains from the Korean War back to the U.S. Both leaders committed to denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula, but not detailed plans were announced. The president is working on explaining on his signed agreement to the Congress and convincing nervous allies it will work. Democrat and Republican lawmakers say there's a degree of uncertainty about the future relations with North Korea. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham says it's not an agreement that can be enforced. Millions of soccer fans are ready to cheer for their team as the World Cup begins in Russia tomorrow. Russia has sent thousands of police to the host cities to patrol along with other authorities from the 32 countries competing. Authorities will share information and search for any disruptions in the crowds. Russia does not want to repeat violence that has happened in past tournaments. In other World Cup news, FIFA Soccer's governing body awarded the 2026 World Cup this morning to a joint bid from the United States, Mexico, and Canada. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.